This is where Jack Smith came from. His people were figuring out ways how to jail Obama's political enemies just before the 2012 re-election. But one of the other interesting things about what the Smith operation is up to is their secrecy around it. They do a lot of leaking, um, but they don't want to tell you some basic information that we have a right to know as American citizens, namely, who's on this team targeting Trump? Because as you saw from the Durham report uh, and uh, the Mueller operation, it was full of uh, the, the whole investigation, both investigations, uh, were infected and I would say were created only because of anti-Trump animus and politics. I think, you know, Judicial Watch, I know, had done analysis of M the Mueller team. You know, I don't think he hired any current Republicans, maybe a few former Republicans. I think Mueller was a former Republican or maybe, maybe an actual Republican. But everyone else was a Democrat or Democrat supporting. And so uh, given what had happened under Mueller, given what the Durham report had uncovered and what we generally knew about the anti-Trump bias in the FBI and Justice Department targeting of Trump, we thought it would be interesting to find out who was working for Jack Smith. So we, Jack Smith, of course, is a special counsel whose grand jury I appeared before. And um, Smith's uh, team came back and the Justice Department generally came back and said they don't want to give us the records. We had asked for records, um, what did we say, for staff rousters or similar records that would indicate the employees of the Office of Special Counsel Jack Smith. The Justice Department responded stating that the records responsive have been located so they know what we want because they have them and have been withheld pursuant to Exemption 6 and 7A. Exemption 6 is the privacy exemption. So I guess you can be a top official at the Justice Department, a senior prosecutor or senior FBI agent investigating the former president of the United States in an unprecedented fashion, and you have a privacy interest in keeping the American people from finding out who you are and what you're doing with their tax dollars. An exemption 7A pertains to records or information compiled for law enforcement purposes. Well, I don't even know how that applies here. I mean, we're not asking for confidential sources. And maybe it's a degree they're Im implicated here, then they can withhold those. But it's not a basis to withhold this basic information that I, that I have highlighted before we've been able to get from prior special counsels. Now, you may recall that Smith was appointed in, guess when, November. That was around the time they gave me the grand jury. I think I got the subpoena just shortly before Smith was appointed. Um, and the first investigation, as I said, involves Trump's handling of information from his days as president. And the other part of the investigation um, is basically targeting him for disputing the 2020 election. I mean, it's so nakedly political. It's just, and I saw it directly, because there, as I said, there was no there there in the grand jury investigation uh, that I was forced to go through. Um, so I'm a witness to it, right? I, I, I saw that, um, you know, they just wanted to argue with me about matters of politics, not of anything that was criminal, best as I could tell. Um, you know, given the overwhelming evidence of how, um, you know, anti-Trump bias uh, disclosed in the Durham report, uh, it uh, infected that investigation into both Trump and, of course, in terms of protecting Hillary. It is urgent that Americans be able to find out just who, again, again, is investigating Trump in another unprecedented, dubious investigation. And Jack Smith, the special prosecutor, isn't above the law. Just like I am required to testify before a grand jury, um, I went and testified. I'm not above the law, but Jack Smith and the Justice Department aren't above the law in terms of their obligations under federal law to disclose to the American people what they're up to.
And we have a right to know about just who is working on this politicized investigation into Trump. Now, Judicial Watch already uncovered information about Special Counsel Mueller's operation. Uh, we found information out about his budget. I think we sued about his budget. Um, and certainly we asked for information about his staff and got a lot of information about his staff, including, I mean, we got such detail that his top deputy, Andrew Weissman, who was an anti-Trump fanatic in the Justice Department, uh, we had, you know, information about who Weissman was interviewing. So it's not like it's unprecedented that this information would be disclosed. Uh, we should know who the top people are investigating Trump. A Judicial Watch lawsuit also, as I said, uh, uncovered the calendar entries of uh, his top deputy, Andrew Weissman, Mueller's top deputy, Andrew Weissman. So uh, it wasn't even just, be it went beyond uh, who he was interviewing, you know, for the jobs, but what he was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, Jack Smith is an interesting character. He comes out of the Justice Department. He's a longtime Justice Department um, appointee or civil servant, I think. I don't think he was a political guy. I think this was his first um, political appointment, although I think he was a U.S. attorney. Well, his appointment... His background is what it was, uh, but I do know he was running the public integrity section at the Justice Department. Yes, there is a public integrity section of the Justice Department, despite all evidence to the contrary. And Judicial Watch uncovered how that Justice Department agency was working with Lois Lerner to try to figure out ways to prosecute the same groups and people that Lerner's IRS was abusively targeting. So it wasn't just giving them audits or delaying their applications for Tea Party groups. It was figuring out ways to put them in jail. And as a result of that investigation, we found out that the IRS gave virtually every document they had on um, social welfare organizations or political groups here in the United States to the FBI, FBI in violation of the law. Smith, according to the records we uncovered, uh, directed his, uh, the head of the Justice Department's election crimes branch to meet with uh, uh, Lois Lerner. In one email obtained by Judicial Watch, Lerner discussed an idea that the Justice Department had that could build false statement cases against tax-exempt conservative groups. So their theory of the law was, again, unprecedented novel applications of the law to try to jail then the political enemies of Barack Obama, or as they perceived them. Uh, they were saying that if you filed an application saying you were going to do this as a political group and you did, quote, that, meaning spent too much money on politics, that you were going to be prosecuted for signing a fake, uh, you know, a false statement. It was, it was completely outrageous. Just think about that. You sign a form saying you're going to engage in uh, social welfare activities, which allows political spending to a certain amount, and they decide subsequently you spent more money than you should have, according to their own new rules, and they're going to put you in jail for, quote, lying to begin with. I mean, even Lerner was skeptical of that, but of course she cooperated fully. So this is where Jack Smith came from. His people were figuring out ways how to jail Obama's political enemies just before the 2012 re-elections. For Obama. And people wonder what happened to the Tea Party groups after 2010. They had that big victory in 2010, and then they disappeared for 2012. Well, they were suppressed by Lois Lerner's IRS in league with the Justice Department agency, then run by Jack Smith, who now again is targeting Trump in the eve, on the eve of another election for Obama's Vice President, now President Joe Biden. Just, just corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. So they don't want to give us the documents, so we sued in court for them. Uh, so it's going to be a battle. And you, you can bet his Jack Smith's team is nothing but Democrats going after Trump. It's a trawling fishing expedition. Uh, the reports are uh, that they're investigating state legislators for, elect, for uh, daring to dispute uh, Trump's ele uh, excuse me, Biden's election, citizens who were trying to, under the law, 
create alternative slates of electors. They're investigating fundraising by the Republican Party and the Trump team. I mean, it's, a, it's like the Democratic Party is running Jack Smith's special counsel operation. And I can confirm that because I saw the types of uh, uh, questions and the attitude, more importantly, the attitude from the prosecutors uh, pushing what I think this is, uh, what I think to be a meritless investigation of President Trump and an abuse of power. So your judicial watch is under attack. And I know, you know, I ask for support a lot, but I encourage you to support judicial watch. We had to spend a lot of money dealing with this. And, you know, any little bit you can, can support us with would be great. Because that's money we don't have now to uh, do the work you generally want us to do, which is to fight the bad guys in government and educate the American people about what they're doing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.